Now, you've said that you did complex micro simulation modeling. Um, it sounds like a relatively basic model to me. You take from one and give to another. It's a basic equation of wealth redistribution, and that's called a tax. And you've made many statements about the um, Obamacare plan as being a tax, and I want to go through those. Um, now, I want to remind you, this is not the casual conversation that you've had in the conferences where you've insulted the American voter. This is actually a hearing where you took an, an oath. You said on March 16, uh, 2011, the only way we could take it on was first by mislabeling it, calling it a tax on insurance plans rather than a tax on people. And we all know it's really a tax on people who show, hold those insurance plans, a tax. On January 18th, you said if you're a state and you don't set up an exchange, that means your citizens don't get the tax credits, but your citizens will pay the taxes that support the bill, a tax. October 30th, in 2012, you said we just tax the insurance companies. They pass it on in higher prices that offset the tax breaks we get. It's very clear, you know. Um, and that's when you went on and insulted the American voter as the fact that they couldn't understand that basic equation. And then on October 17th, you said this bill was written in a tortured way to make sure CBO did not score the mandate as taxes. If CBO scored the mandate as taxes, the bill dies. Now, I know, Mr. Gruber, that you believe that your statements were inexcusable and insulting, but they do appear to be true. You're not here recanting today your statements with respect to the tax aspect of Obamacare, are you? I'm here today to say that any conjectures I made about political This is not a conjecture, Mr. Gruber. I mean, conjecture is, I believe it may have been, someone may have been thinking, perhaps they were, perhaps it was. This is your straight up statements. These are not conjecture. Is it your purpose today to recant Obamacare as a tax? It is my purpose today to come forward and elaborate and straighten out the interpretation of a series of comments that I made and to apologize. Excellent. Let's do that then. <clears throat> Let's clarify it. Mr. Gruber, you made these statements, did you not? If I don't recall exactly, but... You don't recall. Well, now, one of them we actually saw on video. Do you recall that one? Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, <clears throat> these statements, we'll enter them for the record, and I can't imagine how you don't recall your own statements because the American voter has seen them over and over again as you've called them stupid. Do, do you deny making these statements, Mr. Gruber, even though you don't recall them? Do you deny calling Obamacare a tax? If you're reading my actual quotes, then I don't deny it. I don't have I am to reading your actual quotes. Then I don't deny it. Okay. So you're not here to recant it or to deny it? I'm here to explain that a number of those comments were made in a tone of expertise that I don't have when I was talking about political Mr. Gruber, do you know what a tax is? I mean, you do have, you know, expertise in economics. Do you know what a tax is? Yes. Okay. So you would not deny today that in these statements that you made that Obamacare is a tax, would you? Obamacare is a large piece of legislation with many parts. And, and is one of those parts a tax, Mr. Gruber? There, there are some taxes in Obamacare. Well, yes. the president, as you know, argued that Obamacare was not a tax until it went before the U.S. Supreme Court as to whether or not Obamacare was a tax. And then the administration argued that it is a tax in order to be able to save it from being declared unconstitutional. So I would assume that you agree with the U.S. Supreme Court that Obamacare uh, provisions include taxes, right? The U.S. Supreme Court ruled on a particular provision of Obamacare. About you do not the disagree with them, do you? I'm sorry? It's a, you don't disagree with them that, that, that there are elements of Obamacare that constitute tax? I don't agree with their conclusion about the mandate. Oh, excellent. Interesting. Um, different than what you, you said at these hearings. But now I have a question for you that I, I'd like you to, to think back. You said, I mean, this bill was written in a tortured way to make sure CBO did not score the individual mandate as taxes. Did you ever speak to anyone in the administration who acknowledged that to you or who explained that to you or who assigned a problem with you with the, construct, with the construct of that we have to draft this in a torture way so that we make sure CBO did not score the individual mandate as taxes? And you are under oath, Mr. Gruber. Did anybody in the administration have that conversation with you? That was an inexcusable term used by... I'm not asking you about how you believe that whether or not you should have said that or not. It's a factual statement you're making. Did anybody in the administration ever have that conversation with you? I do not recall anyone using the word tortured, no. Did they ask, did they have the conversation with you that it had to be drafted in a way that the CBO did not score the individual mandate as taxes? Anyone in the administration, acknowledge it, explain it, or assign aspects to you within that construct? I don't. You are under oath. I honestly do not recall. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Thank you.